Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody just a while ago posted on Facebook, they wanted to know how they could scan this. Evidently, it's like a water intake gasket for a car or a pump or something. And and this is a picture I just took off of Facebook, so there's nothing special about it. And you can see it's a picture because it's even got an edge there. But all you have to do is go to Trace Bitmap. And if you don't have Trace Bitmap up here in your version, just go to Bitmap. And I use Outline Trace, and I most of the time use Clip Art because it works very well. Now, it doesn't trace it perfectly, and maybe a scan version of the, the real gasket would work better. Uh, there's a few problems with it, but it's very easily cleaned up. Uh, just grab it and go to Arrange and ungroup it. Then take out this center, take out this center, and you can still see some garbage here is what I call it. Select on your gray and just move it out of the way and your garbage is left behind. Now all you have to do is left click no fill, right click outline and there you have an air, a hairline of this gasket to cut out. Now it's not perfect by any means but I guarantee you it would steal water and you can just go to your shape tool and take out some of these jagged edges. And um, especially if you have the old gasket to lay on top of it afterwards. Uh, you know, the holes aren't perfect. There's a few double nodes. And I'm not going to get into it, but it's very easily cleaned up. And, uh, and would work well. So that one you don't want to take out. Well, there's a double node there and you can take that out. And you could actually... You know, especially if you have the other gasket laying there uh, after you cut the first one out. Now it's got some trash in here that's probably not even there. So all you have to do is select both those. Now these circles are really bad. Uh, there's another node you don't need. So what I would do on these circles, and these are evidently the bolt holes, I would break curve apart and grab these circles and it's a, a half inch. Now I haven't scaled this object, but I could draw a half inch circle and replace it with that circle. And what I would do, and this is where the, the nudge distance comes in very handy. I'm going to put it about where that bolt hole is. I'm going to change my nudge distance just like to two inches. I'm going to take my good circle and I'm going to go down two inches and I'm going to delete the bad circle and then I'm going to go get my other circle, the bolt hole, and move it back up. And you could do that for all these holes. And you know, there's a few areas in here, but I guarantee this would cut out of gasket material and uh, there's a few nodes you can clean up, but it would seal and work good and you could make it really pretty or leave it like that right there and it would probably work but now the picture isn't scaled to the gasket so I'm going to group all this together and right now this gasket is 13 point three seven six big but that's from the top of this joint to the top of that so and this is evidently maybe a water pump for a car. Um, what you need to do is make a couple of measurements. And and I've done a couple of videos in here and just get your, your uh, parallel dimension tool and get it close. And then go from like the center of that hole to the center of that hole. And you've got... Let's change this to a little bit bigger font. You've got 11.48. So I would check that and maybe check after you replace some holes or, or didn't. I would check it across. But you need to get it close. And see, it'll tell you the center of the center. And this one's 5 point. I need to figure out how to make that bigger. Anyway, so that those two holes are 5.4 inches or 5.94 apart. These are 11. So you just scale it and then you could make and don't don't go here. Don't stretch it. Scale it. 
Now you're going to have to remeasure, and there's actually a, a video on how to do that to keep those measurements correct. But if you measured from here to here, let's just do that. To start off with, and you know you need, that's 14.19, and that's a starting place before you start measuring your hole. But anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit, and maybe you learned a little bit, and thank you for watching.